my Dooney and Burke bag came in this box that was basically half open. Did it survive transit? Let's find out together. Hello, my name is Andrea and thanks for hopping over on my video and joining me in the babe cave today. Yeah, you saw that box I posted uh, on my community post and I was completely shocked about how my Dooney bag got here. It looks like someone kicked the box all the way to get to me from Connecticut. So anyway, we both shall see together if it got damaged during transit or not because I have it of course out of the box and yeah I hadn't seen any videos on this bag so let's just jump right in and see what I got <laughs> here is the bag and like I said I haven't opened it so let's open it up and check it out Thank goodness for that plastic over my beautiful, beautiful ivy colored small Charleston shopper. So I know that I said that I don't gravitate towards my green, my olive green Cameron as much. So I wanted to try a deeper, darker, more emerald color because that actually is my birthstone in May. And so this is in the color Ivy and so far from the front it looks okay maybe one tiny mark there but really pretty smooth they have the regular Charleston shopper but this is the small size so the stitching is a, a yellow with that green I do like this it is more like an emerald color I wasn't sure about the color, but I wanted to try, and I wanted to try this small Charleston shopper. Here is the back. Again, I'm looking at it for the first time. Beautiful stitching. I think my bag came out okay, <laughs> unlike the box. So here's the bottom, has feet on the bottom very pretty and then it has the back pocket and let's see if my iPhone 15 Pro Max let's try it oh yeah fits perfectly so if you have the big iPhone it will fit into the back pocket that's good has the very nice braided zipper pull here right here yeah so far so far, so good. I'm not seeing any quality issues. I didn't see any videos on this bag, so I at least I didn't. Maybe you all have seen it, but I didn't really know what to expect from this size at all. So since I'm not 100% sure that I'm gonna keep this bag, I wanna keep the plastic on the handles. And let's just... I debated on getting the natural color or this one and it has a nice zipper with the red tape comes with the dust bag of course and on the inside it doesn't have any suede up here but it has two slip pockets and then on this side has the big zip slip pocket and then the zipper compartment and again it's the small charleston shopper so let's do dimensions the more i look at it the prettier i think this color is it may be my perfect green bag i don't know so the measurements i'm going to measure from the bottom of the bag and it's 10 and the height is 9 and the depth about three and a half depth 
And I'll pop up here what the dimensions that Dooney and Burke has on it. It is, uh, let's check the shoulder drop. The shoulder drop is eight. So it's right on the cusp of fitting over my arms. I kind of wish these were a little bit longer. Let's see if I can fit it over my shoulder. It fits. I just am not certain of it yet. <laughs> what do you guys think? Do you like the color? This is Ivy. Never owned an Ivy colored bag. It's very smooth. I can't say that it got beat up during transit or anything. Beautiful gold hardware, feet on the bottom. <laughs> but am I getting that feeling of excitement and love for it? I don't know that. <laughs> this may be going back. What do you guys think? Did I mess up and should have gotten the natural? <laughs> it's just because this color is out of my comfort zone. Although it is so pretty, I just, I am not sure. Let me tell you what I paid for it because it was on a major deal too. I believe it was $130. And of course it's Florentine leather, which is their higher grade le leather. Beautiful stitching. I mean, the quality has not gone down when it comes to Dooney. At least I haven't come across that. They still make beautiful quality bags. Oh, I just, I really want these, <laughs> I wish these straps were a little longer. I just am not sure. What do you guys think? Should I keep it or should I return it? Because I was kind of irritated by the box and it kind of made me worry about maybe this bag is not meant to be mine. <laughs> I don't know. Tell me what you think. Um, here is the tag on the bag in case you're interested. I am sh They have other colors, of course, that you can pick from. I'm just not sure. Okay, that is uh, my video for my destroyed box. And this came from I Love Dooney, if I didn't mention that. I just don't know. Help me decide, again. You all did help me decide on the guitar strap with my red Essex bag and I did a short on it. So thank you for voting on that one. I just don't know. I mean, this bag is cute and the color is really a perfect fall bag. It's almost like a gemstone almost. It's, it's very nice. I just don't know. <laughs> How many times can I say that? Anyway, <laughs> uh, thank you for uh, subscribing to my channel and uh, give me a like be if you enjoyed at least seeing this bag. I don't know if I'm keeping it. <laughs> and also comment down below and uh, hit ring the bell so you won't miss my future videos. And again, I am not sure if I'm keeping it. I don't know. I don't really like to do videos that I'm unsure of if I'm going to keep it or not, but I know that there's no videos on this bag and I wanted to see the ivy color in person. I'm just not sure it's for me. I will uh, keep you updated on that and I appreciate all of you subscribing to my channel and until next video, I'll talk to you soon. Bye!